Good morning class. Today for visual arts we're looking at rock pools. So you might remember that we've read a few storybooks this week about rock pools. I had this idea because when I was on a holiday at Christmas I went to a beach which had amazing rock pools and the waves came crashing in over the rock pools and the pools of water that were left in the rocks were filled with crabs and little fish and it was a lot of fun. Has anybody been to rock pools before that could share their experience? Yep. Great. So this week in literacy we've been reading the book Sharing a Shell and I wanted to draw your attention to the illustrations in this book because if we see here where our little crab is coming into the rock pool, what kind of colours the, does the picture show? Yes, they're really bright, aren't they? And colourful, colourful pictures. And when we get to this page, there's a storm happening. How are the colours different in this page? Yes, it's far gloomier, isn't it? They're darker colours and it shows that it's gloomier. Okay, we can use that for inspiration as well. So today, this is what we're going to be doing in our art class. We are making our own rock pool. And we've got some papers for the water. And we've got some papers that we create for the rocks. And then we have a little sea creature in here that you can choose what you create. So let's go through the what and wilt of the lesson. So today we are learning to make a mixed media artwork using rock pools for inspiration. So we've got acrylic pastels, watercolor, and paints and chalks on here as well. And we're gonna be using some shells to do the painting. So Wilf, what I will be looking for is use of your personal experience. So the stories we shared this morning, we can use all of those in our art. And we're going to be using the mixed media, the materials I've just explained, and we're going to be overlapping the colours. I'd like to see the overlapping of materials and colours. And we're going to be collage. We're going to put it all together on an old cereal box as a collage. And I'm looking for different use of lines. So remember, we can have thick lines, thin lines, jaggedy lines, zigzags, waves, straight lines, and lots of different shapes and colours and textures. We're going to create texture by using the shells. And Importantly, I would like to see all of your tables clean and a safe working area. And what must we do before we start working on our, on our collage and our paper? Yes, we have to pop our name on our work so we know whose is whose. Okay, so I will show you now how to make your papers for your collage. So for your water page, we want to be using our cool coloured and pastels. So I've divided my page into three and I'm going to think about three different patterns for my water. So this side we're going to have waves crashing in to our rock pool water. Waves. I'm going to overlay some different colours and then this one we've got some ripples. Somebody's throwing in some rocks and it's making the water ripple. You remember, you don't have to follow these patterns. These are just ideas for you. And then this one, it's raining. So on the top of my on top of my rock pool, there is drip, drip, drops of rain. And then we're going to overlay our watercolor. So we've got some. This one's quite a darker blue. And then we can overlay some lighter blue. I want you to do that all over your page, mixing your cool colours for your water and your rock pool. So the page for our rocks, we're going to do, we're going to do a similar thing again. We're going to use some different colours this time, whatever colours you think for rocks. And this one is going to be a jaggedy rock. So it's going to be jaggedy all over it. Some different colours, jaggedy rock. And this one is going to be a smooth rock. So I'm going to do some smooth lines for a smooth rock. Like that. And then this one at the top is going to be a slippery rock. Who experienced slippery rocks when they were at the beach? 
and there's moss growing on them which is green and it can be quite slippy and then we're going to do the same thing again we're going to overlay our watercolors on top over our pastels overlapping our colors for our rocks so for this last page which is for our sea creature we're going to use the chalks and we're going to rub it on our paper in, in bands like I'm showing you. Okay, I'm choosing three colours. And then you can smudge them with your finger. Oops. Like so. When you're happy with that, I've got a range of shells for you to use. And we're going to experiment with overlaying and printing with the shells it's it's almost like a stamp you don't need too much paint and then you overlay the textures this shell here you see how you've got the lines on the shell that looks really nice on your on your picture and I've got lots of shells and lots of corals for you to experiment printing the textures onto your paper like so Okay, so we've done our three papers, our water, our rocks and our sea creature. Now we are going to cut out our papers to assemble our collage. So for your water, have a think about if you would like a straight edge or a curved edge to your water. You could perhaps follow the lines of your waves if you have included that in your paper. So you're cutting out your shapes. And then when you're happy, you are overlaying them as a collage onto your cereal box. The same thing with your rocks. Cutting out your rocks, perhaps as one piece like this, where you've cut out one large piece of rock, or like this, where they've got a jaggedy edge to the rock, or smooth rocks around the edge of the rock pool for this one. When it comes to your sea creature, I would like you to have a think about which sea creature you would like to choose. I chose a starfish. There's lots of books here for us to get inspiration if we're not sure. I recommend that you use a pencil to draw your shape on the back of your paper. Okay, draw your shape that you're happy with first before you cut it out. And then stick on your sea creature onto your rock pool as well. And we are going to make sure your name is on your collage. And then we're going to display these in our classroom this week.